Hello Sagittarius, this is Manny. Hope everybody's doing good. Let's see what's on and popping with your reading, Sagittarius. Remember, Sag, I'm reading for you, but I could be picking up on um, a third party, a cross watcher, or somebody surrounding your energy, okay? So let's see what's up with Sagittarius. Somebody got sticky hands here. Somebody likes to steal. Okay, Sag, so I don't know. It's somebody in your energy, family member, friend. Somebody likes to steal here. They got sticky hands, and they're very sticky. So let's see what's up with Sagittarius. Minera, what does Sagittarius need to know? Hmm. What do they need to know right now? Somebody's going down here. I don't know why I'm hearing that. There's somebody here. I'm seeing smoke. So be careful with your house that you don't leave the gas on. Or there's a gas leak. I see a gas leak in somebody's house. I see, um... Or if you have a, um, I don't know why I'm seeing a gas leak. It's a gas leak, so it must be a gas stove. But if you do have a stove that's normal, be careful that the electricity is not messed up in the back. Call the owner or check it out yourself. But I see something here that can cause an, electro, an electrical um, problem or um, a little fire or something. But just check it out, okay? Let me see. What is um, going on with Sag here? the butterfly so somebody's evolving and growing here somebody's healing their inner child yeah you got wedding rings here okay and you got the butterfly so somebody here needs to oh uh, um or is possibly trying to work on their inner child wounds releasing the past and starting something new it could be a marriage it could be something you're starting new it could be that you're married with somebody here or you want to get married with somebody here or it's just a commitment that is here you know grounding yeah grounding spirit is saying ground yourself go out on the grass ground yourself and you can't do it because it's too cold where you're at whatever just do it from inside the house open the door and look at the grass you can ground yourself however but there's somebody evolving here to the next phase of whatever it is in your life i feel like you've done a lot of healing here i feel like there's inner child wounds there's trauma here there is possible um trauma from the past with family members um maybe you were a person that you know had an abusive life or abusive um relationship but i'm gonna say i feel like it's been all your life you've been in a very um in an energy of a lot of turmoil growing up and i feel like there's a lot of exhaustion when it comes to your energy i don't feel like um I feel like for some Sagittarius here, you grew up in a way where you've been very strong, but also very harsh on people because of the way you grew up. But there is a union coming here, a marriage, a soul connection. It might just be a, a soul connection you're hitting right now, or you had a soul connection that's coming back to you, or you're going back to that soul connection, which is something that's not crazy, no physical, no mental abuse, not nothing like that. But you might have met somebody already. Or you're going to meet somebody in the future. Remember, this is a collective, not a personal reading. So, there is, you know, when you hit this reading, it doesn't matter. If it's a year from now. It's just, you know, it's a collective. It's not a personal reading. You got um, blowing kiss. So, unconditional love is here. You know, when you give, you have to receive. Just know that's Sagittarius. Because if you give and you don't receive, it's not ego, give and take. So, you need to give, you need to stop giving so much and give to yourself more. Because I feel like there's affection here and love here, but you have to know the equal give and take. You have to know that when you give, it's not materialistic that I'm saying. You have to also receive because there is a fairness coming in here of love. And it might just end up into marriage or you're a married um, couple. And yeah, there's healthy choices here and abundance. So you might be hating abundance. If you're a married couple or if you're single and this is not something that you want, it just might be that inner healing that you need for your soul to have that inner healing. Because there's a lot of um, inner, inner child healing that has to be done here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. With, oh, no, wait. I'm going to throw these down. Let me see. What's Sagittarius? Love yourself more is what I'm hearing. Remember, this could be the crosswatcher I'm picking up on. Love yourself more. 
and give to yourself more. But there is wedding rings here, and there is something new coming in here for you, Sag. Let's just see. Maybe you're just a married couple. Let's see. What's going on here? What does Sagittarius need to know here? What else? So somebody wants to contact you here, but they don't know how to approach you here. So you might have met somebody, you're meeting somebody, or is this somebody you had a fallout with, and, you know, somebody doesn't know how to contact you, or they don't want to contact you. I'm not laughing at you or the reading. I'm just laughing at how my ancestors talking some crazy shit in the back. I don't know. I feel like I'm losing you. I want to contact you. But I'm not sure what to say or how to approach you. So, uh, you know, there's somebody here that you might have lost or they lost you or whatever it is. I do got um, somebody here that suffers from a lot of trauma here. And that trauma could play in different ways in a person's life. It could either make you, you know, a person that... And whoever. This is not for Sagittarius. This is for whoever I'm picking up on. And in general. It could make you either a good person. And um, it could either make you a very angry and depressive person. And that has a lot of play when there's inner child wounds here. So somebody's lost here. Like somebody feels like they're losing you. Or somebody... You're losing somebody here. But somebody wants to connect and they don't know how. Maybe it's you, Sad. You don't know what to say to somebody. Here's just too many cards. I know my ego's in the way. That's in the bottom of the deck. So let's see what's here. I love you, but I'm not sure how this is going to change my life. Somebody really loves somebody here. It's just, like I said, somebody's scared here to open up, or somebody's scared of how things might go, or somebody feels like they're not good for somebody here. But I feel like, I don't know, let's see what the cards say. I feel like somebody here is overwhelmed with a lot of things going on. Let's just see, Sag, what's going on here. You might just want to contact somebody or they want to contact you. And probably when they do, they don't even know what to say. And they say some stupid shit. And it's like, why are you talking about that? Like, it just depends. Okay, so let's see. What's going on with Sag here? Somebody most definitely loves somebody here. A lot. And this could be a married couple. I don't know. Let me see. Or a commitment. What is going on with Sagittarius? Mi negra. What else? Okay, there's a lot to say here. Yeah, somebody's stressed out here. I can't make shit up. You got the Ten of Swords. If somebody here is not sleeping right. Somebody here is worried. Somebody here is not having a good sleep. Somebody is worried here. The Five of Cups. So somebody here is missing somebody. Somebody here doesn't know what to do. Somebody here might be walking away or walked away from a relationship. You got the World card here. I feel like somebody here... Whatever they did or whatever you did to somebody here is like, they're regretting every fucking minute of it, is what I'm hearing. Like, somebody here is in a lot of regret. Somebody here is crying their asses off, and I feel like they cry in silence. I feel like they don't let nobody see them cry. And if they do, they'll say it's something else. They don't say what it is you feel me like they don't say the truth about what it is and i feel like it's about you or you about somebody just pick what side you're on but there's somebody walking away here to a distance here you might be traveling or you might decide to move to a different state or to a different um country whatever is for you for a different town but you are required here i don't know why i'm hearing you're required here to move so if you're not happy where you're at and under the circumstances with family with friends whatever with co-workers whatever it is for you and you're just in a depressive state and you just want changes spirit is saying you need to move okay it could be a new house it could be uh a new location it could be anything it could even be moving out of the state i'm seeing a long distance with my mind's eye so somebody might be um hometown is what i'm hearing so somebody might be wanting to go back to their hometown. Maybe you live an hour away, two hours away. Maybe you live in another state. Somebody's required here to go to back to their hometown. That's going to make somebody happier here. But there is somebody here overwhelmed here. Sagittarius, you could be suffering from depression. You could be sad about something. You could be, and I see it because the cards are even saying it. There's something here that's overwhelming you here. There's something here that's making you 
doubt yourself for some reason. It could be all this past trauma. It could be somebody here that is moving forward. You move on from somebody here, but it's making you. You might be doing, um, you might be having lucid dreams. So if you feel like you're having lucid dreams or you're astral projecting, I'm getting here. Make sure you take your guys with you. Make sure you're astral projecting correctly. Make sure that, I don't know why I'm seeing somebody here wake up and it feels like you're still and you can't move. Your spirit hasn't come into your body yet. So, you know, every spirit at night, we're, we're spirits with human flesh. We astral project every night. Our spirit astral projects no matter what. Some of us do it intentionally. I do it intentionally sometimes. So... You know, if you're feeling that your spirit is not there, you can't move, it's because your spirit is coming into your body, is astral projecting. So you might be seeing things or dreaming things that you don't quite understand. Write those dreams down because there are messages. Dreams are messages of something you need to know. I see red here for something. I don't know if it's red roses or um, something red that somebody wears a lot or holds a lot or is something red that's going to be given to you. But there's something red here that I'm seeing. You might need something red for protection here. You might have to sleep with something red. I feel like somebody here is very overwhelmed and they don't know what to do here. Let me see here. What else here? Yeah, you're heartbroken here about something. So this could be a marriage here that is coming to an end. But there's a lot of love, but it's just not working out. You know, I feel like um, somebody backstabbed you and they don't even know how to approach you. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do because they did that. So if you back somebody, if you backstab somebody and you do something and you are guilty of something and you have a person that you really, really love, why would you backstab them? You feel me? Like, why would a person backstab somebody if they really love them? Why would they do that to then come back and try to say sorry and sorry for this, that, that, and this when at that moment you really didn't give a fuck what you were doing, but now you regret everything you did and you want to come back to a person? That's what I'm getting here. Is And that's why there's a feeling of loss here. So somebody feels like they're losing you, Sagittarius, or they already lost your ass. Like, they're heartbroken. They're going through some shit here, but I feel like... Sagittarius, you're going through a lot of like, you're like a wounded heart here. You have a wounded heart here. And it could be from past things that you've gone through here with family. I don't know. I'm seeing Leo, Taurus, um, Libra. Um, you got Pisces here. Let me see. You got Pisces again. Let me see. What else here for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, be careful not going to jail here. I'm seeing somebody that might just end up in jail or somebody's in jail here and somebody's waiting for somebody to come out of here. But somebody is in, something is telling me somebody's going to end up in jail here for something they did or something they're doing. I'm telling you, there's, I felt like somebody here steals or um, does federal stuff or does credit card theft or something like federal stuff is what i'm picking up or they just i don't know they have their way of getting money and it's not the correct way of getting money somebody might end up in jail here and you might hurt a lot of people or somebody might hurt a lot of people when somebody ends up in jail here somebody needs rest here because somebody is severely hurting here somebody's somebody here doesn't know what to do somebody somebody here thinks one thing one day or one week they're up and down you might have bipolar there's nothing wrong with that i have bipolar i don't drink medications but i know how to control it and sometimes i don't but you might just have to see a psychiatrist and there's nothing wrong with mental health mental awareness is a thing you might have to go and see somebody but there's something that's worrying you here so much then it's like it's going to be a dead end so if you're planning to do something here or planning to go somewhere or planning something from a distance here is what i'm seeing here be careful because everything can go wrong here and it could be a distance it could be you know whatever it is for you because this is a collective reading it's not a personal reading but it's something here is going to break your heart or it already did you need to get some rest you need to think about what you want in your life and what you don't want in your life if you're suffering in a relationship here or in a marriage and it's been years i don't know why i keep on hearing two years but i keep on hearing two years maybe it's too significant for you 
But if you're suffering in a relationship here and you don't know what to do, you need to keep going. You need to move forward. Okay, because you got here the world card. You need to keep going. Follow your intuition. Jump the leap of faith. Don't look back. Because something is telling me here, there's going to be a marriage, there's going to be an end here. But there's a lot of love here. But this could be something that you're going to enter new. And this could be the past that I'm reading here. What else for such? Yeah, I'm telling you. There's two people that love each other here. You got the sun card under the deck. Somebody, somebody here makes you... Or you love somebody, or you're their, their, you're their love. But there's a lot of fighting here and drama. There's a lot of secrets and lying here with the moon card. Somebody wants to come back here, Sagittarius. I don't know if it's you or somebody here, but somebody wants to create a new union, a, a new a union here. This could be something new that's going to be created between two people here. <clears throat> and you're walking away from the past that hurt you so much, and things that happened, and things that. I don't know, man. There's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of emotions here. You've been through a lot your whole life, Sagittarius. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, you've been a person that have gone through so much that barely you've gotten rest. Barely you've gotten sleep. Barely you've had time for yourself. It's like hurt and hurt and hurt over and over again by many people not only one several people and it could be like i said since you were a child here what the fuck man i feel bad for you and i sing my hugs whoever has gone through this here because i know what that feels like but there's a lot of depression here let me see what else you feel serious somebody here doesn't know what to do and somebody here that backstabbed you, somebody here that did something to you, that broke your heart, they're going to go through karma. They're not going to be able to move forward where they want to go. They're going to find somebody and that person's going to offer unconditional love, but it's going to flip sideways here on somebody here because they backstabbed you too much, Sagittarius here. This could also be a family member in your life that, yeah, the Ten of Swords. Again. Wow, what the fuck? The Ten of Wands. Sagittarius You got the queen of um, What the fuck is going on here You got the queen of cups on the bottom of the deck so Somebody hurt you really bad here There was a soul contract broken here Somebody here That didn't give a fuck That hurt somebody really bad That backstab them over and over again There's a lot of lies here There's a lot of heartbreak here Somebody here is going through it. It's like they broke a soul contract and somebody's going to get karma for that. It's like you're too stressed out. You're too hurt. You're not getting no sleep. You're probably even going to sleep and waking up or or sleeping too much. Whatever it is for you. But there's a lot of heartbreak here, man. Like you got, you got the queen of cups in the bottom of the deck. So there's somebody here looking back at something here and wondering what the fuck is going on here. Let me get a card from this because I'll, I'll get it back. I'll get it later. Let me see what's going on with Sagittarius. So this might be the crosswalk I'm picking up on. That there was a connection here and everything fell apart. Like, yeah. If this is a marriage, if this is a commitment and you're going through all this depression, all this, you know, you've been backstabbed over and over again, but you love this person. That is trauma bond. Okay. That is trauma bond. Yeah, people could love a person and go through hell with them. And, you know, forgive and forgive and forgive is what I'm hearing. And, you know, but it's called trauma bond. So if you are in an abusive relationship, whether it's mentally or domestic violence, whatever it is, you need to heal. You need to walk away. You need to enter a new phase in your life. I feel like there's a portal that opened here. You entered another portal and came back. It might have been in a dream state. And it's like everything seems different. I don't know why I'm picking up that up. It's for somebody here. But let's see. Why is this ten of swords here? Versace. There's a lot of depression here. There's a lot of regret here. There's a lot of pain here. Wow. Why is this Ten of Swords here? You might just be ending something that you don't want to end here, Sagittarius. And it's going to break your heart, but you're going to end it. Or you already end it. 
but there's something here that you're going to end. It could be a commitment. It could be a marriage. It could be, you know, family-wise. It could be friendship, whatever it is for you. But it's going to cause you a lot of pain here. Let me see. Why is this ten of swords here? Mi negra. Yeah, it's like you're not putting effort anymore. But somebody here tried to do some witchcraft and it didn't work. Somebody paid somebody here to do witchcraft and they thought they were going to get it. Like, no, it didn't work. You need inner strength here because somebody here is very controlling. And when they come in, they get what the fuck they want and they don't take no for an answer. It's like, they don't take no for an answer here. It's like... You know, somebody's not thinking rationally here. Somebody's thinking with their mind, not their thoughts or their intuition. Like, somebody here failed in something they were going to do to you here. Hmm. Let me see. Why is the magician in reverse? Somebody here failed in witchcraft here. Or something that they didn't want for you, but somebody here is not thinking right. Somebody here is thinking... I feel like somebody here is thinking and they don't give a fuck what happens anymore. That might just be your depression. Don't let your depression or any type of depression that comes in, fight it. You need to fight it. I was three years and a half like a vegetable in a bed, almost unalive myself when my son died. And that is a big loss. And I made it out. And I don't even know how. But I see a lot of pain here. And somebody that doesn't want to be in this earth plane anymore. You need to balance the spiritual self with your physical self. There's a lot of imbalance here going on. The somebody here is trying to make you crazy is what I'm picking up. Somebody's trying to make you crazy here when it comes to your spiritual and your physical. So somebody here feels like they're unaligned here. It could be somebody you're dealing with that is a narcissist. It could be something that, you know, a narcissist could break somebody down. But you could also break a narcissist down. Because when I come across narcissists, I'm the one that breaks them down. I will make them cry, break them down, and they will never get up again. And you have to have a lot of strength to do that. This could be a king of pentacles. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the four swords here are again. Like you need rest. Like there's something that's very, very toxic around you and you don't know what to do about it here. You need to align and you need patience here. There's a lot of patience required here, Sagittarius, in a situation here. There's something that you want to manifest here, and it's not happening here. Hold on. Let me see why is the Five of Cups here. You owe something here, or somebody owes something here to somebody here. Somebody owes something here to somebody. Yeah, the Nine of Wands here. You're a wounded warrior. You know, don't... You're a wounded warrior. You're not giving up here. So you might be feeling down. You might be just feeling... Your energy is down. And remember, the planets are moving right now. There's a lot of things going on with the planets. There's a lot of changing. The, um, the signs are coming into planets. There's going to be a hard time. And I'm going to say it, next month is going to be a very, very difficult month for a lot of people here. you got the Ten of Swords in the bottom of the deck. There's something going on here really, really bad. I'm not liking it. Somebody might pass away. So I'm so sorry to say that, but I don't sugarcoat nothing in my fucking readings. And I feel like somebody has passed away here or is going to pass away. And somebody here is suffering a lot because of that. It could be a husband or a wife that passed away and you haven't gotten over this. And I'm so sorry. I send you my condolences. I send you a big hug. And I send you my prayers of healing because I'm picking up somebody here lost a husband or a wife. Or whatever it was to you, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever it was, even a family member. And you haven't been able to move on in your life. And I understand that because I lost a son and I haven't moved on in 14 years. But there's a little bit of healing you could do every single day, just a little bit. Maybe 5 minutes, 10 minutes. But somebody's very depressed here. Something's coming to an end here and a new beginning is starting here for you, Sagittarius. You're a wounded warrior and you you're you, you like you put yourself in positions. What I'm getting here is like stop getting into people's business. Stop interfering or getting in the middle 
of whatever it is, whether it's with you and your partner and their parents or their friends or you with your family members and whatever's going on with them, that's, an, that's not your fucking drama. That is not your fucking problem because that energy comes back to you and it makes you fucked up. So whatever it is, let that person deal with their, I was going to say karmic. So there might be a person here that has a karmic that wasn't real. Where it's been too many years and there's no love there anymore. There's love, but it's more like um, I'm used to you. But don't get into nobody's problems because that will overwhelm a person. You cannot fix everybody here. Three could be significant. Let me see. Why is the world card here? Be careful getting pregnant or somebody's getting pregnant here. Congratulations if you are. And if you're just going through your hormonic cycles, like try to get some help. The moon card is here. There's something hidden here. Between a family and friends here. There could be something here, a celebration or, or a somewhere you're going. There's going to be something that's going to be told to you you're not going to like here. Hmm. Let me see. Why is this uh, three of swords here? For Sagittarius, damn Sagittarius, you've gone a lot through your life. Like, I feel like you've been fighting your whole life. And you've brought your own you know balance you've been patient about a lot of things but you need to keep moving and be patient with yourself and give yourself more because there's someone here that you love very much at some point or they loved you but it's a problem why is it three why is it three of swords there Minera. the queen of swords you could be dealing with a Libra. Land on the Libra card. So you might be dealing with a Libra here. It doesn't have to be a Libra. But somebody here is not... I feel like somebody said something here that was not... I feel like somebody has a sharp mouth here, man. I feel like you've been putting what, no more shit. And I feel like you never did, Sagittarius. I feel like you're a person that when you got to say what you got to say, you don't give a fuck. But there's something going on here where you need to stand up for yourself and speak what's in your mind and say how it is and don't give a fuck what nobody thinks about it. And I'm talking about people that are taking you for granted or whoever it is, the crosswatcher that I'm picking up here. You need to stand up and talk. But I feel like there's somebody here that's very um, intellectual wise but when they speak they speak very sharp and then they come back and say i'm sorry you got the two of cups here so you're involved with somebody here you might be dealing with an empress here this is libra and taurus energy the ace of wands is here so somebody here is somebody got caught cheating here man what the fuck somebody went out of control here and they jumped over here and didn't suffer they didn't want they didn't care about the consequences here. Somebody's meeting up with somebody here behind somebody's back. And it's like one of those uh, meeting up, let's rip and dip and go. Or meeting up every weekend or every once a month or twice a month. But somebody's meeting up with somebody here and it's only about sex. And this person is going to get pregnant. Whoever this is. Or they're already pregnant. Or it's hidden from you. But somebody's going to get pregnant from somebody here. I don't know, juggling. Let me see. Why is the four of um, ones, the swords here? Wall of Fortune. So it can go that way or this way. This is about karma. This is about destiny. This is about moving forward. You need to get some rest. You could be able to move forward here. You might meet somebody here. I don't know. You might meet a soulmate here that's going to do something that's going to help you with all these issues. But I'm mostly feeling like you're moving forward. And I'm mostly feeling like whoever the fuck did here is going to receive a lot of karma. Yeah, you're in hermit mode right now. You're not speaking to somebody right now. It's like you're trying to find yourself. And I feel like this has been for a very long time. I feel like you try to find yourself and then go back. You try to find yourself and then go back. You need to meditate more. You need to put yourself in a, in a energy of meditation. And if it doesn't work one day, do it the next day. If it doesn't work, it takes a lot of time. To be able to meditate where you go in that energy where you're just in meditation. You don't hear nothing around you. Because something's happening here. But you are going to move forward here. Somebody's going to get some type of karma here. Let me see. The two of cups here. 
in reverse. The queen of the king of the king, the ace of pentacles. So, so there's something in here that somebody was not giving, or you did it offer somebody here, but somebody here is not willing to give anymore. Finances might be a problem here, and this is a worry that you have that is making you very depressed, or you're struggling with your finances. But I feel like somebody doesn't want to give anymore here. Somebody's done it over with, and it might be you, Sagittarius. There could be a problem here with a bank situation. If you're going to court and getting a divorce here or something, be careful because there's something here that's going to happen here. You need to speak up and say the truth about something. Don't cover up for somebody that doesn't give a fuck. Because I feel like somebody's covering up for somebody. You need to stand up and speak. It's going to go in your favor. So if you're headed to uh, some court uh, situation, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be a divorce. It could be anything. Speak up the truth because... Even if it doesn't, if you feel like at this moment, I can't do that. Speak up the truth because it's going to go in your favor. It's going to go in your favor. But somebody here is, it's like they like to smooch off of people here. You might have had somebody here that you were dealing with here that you did it all. Or you had all the ideas and there's love here, but it's not enough. Why is that page, why is that ace of pentacles in reverse? There's a lot of there's money situations going on here. Yeah, Queen of Wands here. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You could be dealing with a Queen of Wands here. That's a third party here, man. That starts shit, then comes back and offers love and starts shit. And it's like they brew up the they brew up the pot too much. So somebody here that you're dealing with is like they come in and out or they used to come in and out of your life but it's like you give too much is what i'm hearing stop giving so much because somebody there's a situation going on here that when you've been in your worst or you are in your worst nobody here is showing up for you at all nobody's showing up for you give me something on that queen of wands Minera. who's that queen of wands here Somebody could have smooshed you for money or taken money from you or everything was money. Or you helped somebody too much and they just deceived you. Yeah. You can't trust this person. This person is a whole fucking mess. They have no love here. Somebody had no love for you here. Or the love is gone. Or the love is gone for you. You've done a lot of crying here. It was a queen of wands here. It doesn't have to be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But somebody here that... You know, is alluring, sexy, handsome, whatever it is. It's like they failed you in some type of way here. Seven of Swords. This person's sneaking around, watching your every move. Or you're watching somebody here. But somebody was left out on the cold. Yeah, the Ten of Swords again. There, there's a new beginning. You ended something here. But it's like somebody's suffering here a lot. Or you're going to end something here. It's going to cost you a lot of suffering here. This person... That I'm picking up on. They only love themselves. They don't love anybody but themselves. They, you know, I feel like they feed off of confidence. What I'm going to say, they feed off of confidence. But it's like they use people. And I feel like, you know, they tell everybody or they tell several people they love them, but they don't love. You could have had a, a person here all your life that didn't care here. And, you know, you had to stand up for yourself in your own confidence. You had to build with your own money or struggle with your own money here. I don't like this reading. Like, what the fuck? The Ten of Wands here. I mean, why is Ten of Wands here? For Sagittarius. Somebody here is going through really, really bad, yo. Like... They're going through really, really bad. It could be a king of wands here. You got the queen of wands here. And you got the king of wands here. So this is a couple that is very fierce. A couple that is very fiery. A couple that they're into their own confidence. Their own shit. But they it's like they bump heads. They do not get along. It's like, I'm right. No, I'm right. No, you're wrong. And you're wrong. And it's like, it's a very fiery energy. There's a lot of sexual connection here more than anything there's somebody has in control they want to be in control of everything here and this could have been somebody you were dealing with here you know you're required to jump the leap of faith you're gonna meet somebody here 
after all this chaos or whatever's going on here. But there's a third party interference here that's causing a lot of problems here around you. And this could have been a problem that they caused around you or they said something to you. Or they even said something that they did know about your person or somebody, whoever it was. But they made up stories too. It's not everything that it seems. Why is the Seven of Swords here? This sneaky ass motherfucker. Who is this? I went to the floor. Yes, that's, a, that's where they need to be. So, let me see what went to the floor. The Four of Swords in reverse. This person don't give a fuck. They're lying about something here. If they're saying they're sleeping or they're tired or they need to rest or whatever it is on the other on the other side of the phone, they're lying. They're not sleeping. They're going out and doing something crazy here. Somebody's going to go to jail here for stealing or breaking an entry or doing a, um, my God, I don't want to say that, but home invasion or breaking into houses or something that they're doing here. Somebody's going to end up in jail. But somebody here is lying about, I want to sleep, I'm tired, I don't want to talk, whatever it is. Somebody's lying here to somebody here. They're lying. Their ass is off. They're doing something else. And somebody's planning something here. Spirit is saying, you need to take care of yourself. And stop worrying about others, whether it's family members. I don't know why I'm hearing spirits. <clears throat> you need to um you need to connect with your spirits, is what it's saying here. You haven't connected with your spiritual guides in a long time for some of you. The nine of cups, you will get out of this. You will be in your peace, you will be in your own element, in your peace, and you will be celebrating at the end of all of this. You can get out of anything. Let me see why. This Queen of Wands is here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here, Mineira? You might, you might just meet a fire sign or somebody that has fire in their chart that's going to love you for who you are and that's going to help you with your finances and, you know, not only love... But help you with everything here because I feel like there's so much shit that you're going through or you went through, but you're not stopping. It's like you're not giving up. You you it's like if you go against Sagittarius. Like let's say there's something here that is a block. You go against it and you hit it and you hit it and you hit it until you break it, is what I'm getting here. Emotional intelligence. Use your emotional intelligence. There's two wise people walking here, two old people that have been there for together forever. You feel me? So this might be a couple that's been together. It's just everything is breaking down. But use your emotional intelligence here. With whoever the fuck this is. Because they're not using their emotional intelligence. I hate nothing about you. So somebody here is toxic. And this is what they say. Like, they're lying, man. Somebody doesn't want to hear it. They're toxic, but somebody doesn't, somebody, I don't know, somebody here is dealing with somebody else and is like, they're lying to somebody here. You need to stand in your confidence. You need to know you're worth it. You need to know that you are to love you more than anyone. I feel like you haven't loved yourself in a very long time. I feel like you've loved others more than yourself. And you need to get out of that energy because I be doing that. But I got out of that energy a long time ago. You feel me? You need to love yourself more. You are a very confident person, but there's something going on here that you need to stand up or you want to stand up and say and something's blocking it. Or somebody needs to say something here. Somebody most definitely is lying here. Give me something for Sagittarius. Trick of five. So five, five, five could be significant for you. Manifesting money and income. So you need to manifest money. So if you're trying to manifest money, you have no work or something's not good with money here, which is the ace of um, pentacles here, you need to manifest. Maybe you need to work with a chung. So if you don't know who a chung is, that is crowned in my head. Maybe you need to manifest with a chung. Five, five, five is the number of my favorite form of chung. Two days ago was her day and the 13th will be her full day, but... 
you might need ha- you might need have to work with that diet tea. Look up uh, look up a chum that diet tea. You might need to do money spells here, or have somebody do money spells for you because I feel like there's money issues here. Give me one more for Sagittarius. Lucky charm, there it is. Lucky charm. Attract a lover, soulmate, or a life partner. So you will have luck and you will attract that soulmate and that life partner that you deserve. Somebody that's going to make you stand in your confidence. You will attract it. I don't feel like it's coming in now. Maybe it is and maybe it's somebody you just met and it's everything's moving fast and you have love for this person. And you're going to get married or you got married fast and this is the past is coming in. But there is something coming in here for you and it might be with somebody that's very confident or you're very confident. And it's going to be a match with this person. It was in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like somebody here is ghosted. Somebody is very ghosted here. They don't know what to do. Abracadabra with wings. Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. So take a chance on everything. Take a chance. Be spontaneous. Don't let nothing pass you by. I see a lot of money problems here. So if you're having money problems, manifest it spiritually is what I'm getting here but somebody's getting into your dreams and your spiritual state and somebody might be doing witchcraft here to stop your abundance or to make you feel this type of way I love you I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you later my loves